Welcome to Art Passionate. I'm Joanne and today we will be creating palette knife landscape. Before we proceed to paint, these are the materials we need. First, we start with painting the sky in light blue. I like to give my painting a cool weather, so I'm choosing light ultramarine blue for the sky. But of course, you can choose any type of blue that you like. Let's imagine the sky having varying shades of blue. The paints we are mixing can be uneven with hints of white as well as dark, medium and light blues. Next, we are adding some white clouds that seem to be coming out from the lowest point of the hills, which is somewhere off center. The clouds are sort of expanding, so they get bigger as they are further away. You will want to do it gently, start small and build it up. I'm also adding some small clouds in even lighter blue. For the hills, we can add green to the excess light blue because hills do appear bluish at the far distance. Do add varying amount of blue paints to get the different shades of green. The lightest green for the furthest hill and the darkest for the nearest one. I'm adding some highlights on the top of the hills too. We are keeping the strokes in the direction of the contour of the hills. Don't worry if you went beyond the horizon line, we can always cover it up by layering over it with the color of the flowers. Moving to the foreground, as the leaves grow below the flowers, we can paint them first with varying shades of medium and dark green. We are painting the leaves below this arc right here. Brown paints can be added to get a darker shade of green. Don't worry if you haven't dabbed your canvas with too much green paints because we are layering the flowers over some of these areas. I'm also adding some green paints to separate the rows of flowers.
Now we come to the most exciting and therapeutic part that is to paint the flowers. I've chosen purple, yellow, and pink colors from my flowers, but feel free to add any color to your rows of flowers. We start with the rows of flowers just below the horizon line. Remember to drop in some light and dark shades of purple to create textures. For the yellow flowers, I'm adding some pink paints to create a pretty pinkish orange hue. You can adjust your palette knife upright to paint with precision. And for the pink flowers, you can add some white paints to make a lighter shade of pink. Now repeat the same for the subsequent rows of flowers. As for the flowers in the foreground, we are making them bigger to give an illusion that they are nearer to us. I'm going to give them an impressionist look, so I'm just adding some highlights and shadow on these flowers.
For the flying touches, we can add a few green leaves onto the flowers. I'm also correcting the size of the purple flowers so they look similar to the yellow ones. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you had a great time. For in-person classes, do visit our website to find out more. Link is in the description below. Be the first to view our latest video by subscribing to our channel. See you soon on the next video. Bye!